New tonight at 6, the Ace Hotel opened five years ago and it created quite a buzz, becoming an instant hit for couples looking to tie the knot. But as KDK investigator Andy Sheehan reports, the hotel's future is uncertain and brides and grooms to be want answers. It's the hipster hotel chain, known for taking places like the East Liberty YMCA and turning them into temples of chic ambiance. Renee Ware and her fiance Michael Myers decided Ace was the perfect place for their wedding. When we love kind of that vibe of the Ace Hotel, we've been in them in other cities and we wanted something a little less traditional. But it wasn't meant to be. The hotel closed after COVID hit and now may never reopen. And neither the chain nor the building's ownership group will return the couple's $13,000 deposit. Both of them are just basically passing the buck back and forth between who needs to refund people. After having to cancel their July wedding, the couple rescheduled for next year. But Ace recently told them, due to a dispute with the hotel's ownership group, headed by local developer Nate Cunningham, the hotel is now likely to close for good. They advise the couple to look elsewhere to book their wedding and talk to Cunningham about their deposit. I think I started bawling when the lady called me from the Ace Hotel just because it's been obviously for everyone a rough year. And on top of that, then finding out you might never get money back. Reached by phone, Nate Cunningham said on the advice of his attorney, he would have no comment. But in a statement to KDK, Ace said, quote, Despite several requests from ACE, the property's ownership group has refused to uphold their contractual obligation to fund the hotel. ACE has advocated on behalf of clients regarding the return of their deposits. We understand the distress this has caused. Michael Mayer says the statement falls short. We know that ACE is uh, a global company with over 10 hotels in, in I think, four countries. So for them to say that they can't make us full, but also uh, retain the position that they're fighting for us seems a bit uh, like a contradiction to me. Andy Sheehan, KDKA News.